Hey there, I'm Ani Patino. Here are some of the stories making headlines locally. Well, another storm touched ground in California, bringing snow, rain and severe floods, especially seen in Kernville. A lot of water. This is video from our mountain communities. Evacuation orders are still in place for the low-lying parts of Kernville and the River Kern areas north of Lake Isabella. If you are impacted, the Kern Valley High School has been designated as the evacuation center for this community. Though the recommended way to get to the evacuation center was to take Sierra Avenue to 178 Highway into Lake Isabella, it appears that roadway is now flooded. KCSO says the Kern River Bridge is still open and that route can be taken to get to the center. And taking a look at some of the other closures in place due to that storm. Once again, like we said, Sierra Avenue to the 178 has a hard closure. Also close, Caliente Bodfish Road to Clear Creek Road is not possible since it has completely collapsed. And Highway 58 from Reward Road to the San Luis Obispo County line is also closed due to flooding with no estimated time of reopening. And the storm's also prompting a response from the state governor on storing all of this water. The California Farm Bureau praised Governor Gavin Newsom for signing an executive order to use floodwaters from recent storms to recharge and store groundwater. The bureau's president, Jamie Johansson, says groundwater basins are critical for supplying drinking water for communities, as well as helping farmers produce a food supply for Californians. And on that note, let's send it over to 23 ABC's Ava Kirshner for a look at your forecast. Hi everyone, good morning. Yesterday was a really crazy day in terms of a weather. Today, still seeing those rain chances linger, but things are dying down as we head towards Sunday. Again, a reminder, change your clocks. We have the spring forward going in tonight into tomorrow. Okay, 40% chance of rain for your Saturday today. Drying up Sunday, but then those rain chances linger on Monday. As you can see, 70 degrees is our high temperature on Monday. So we're starting the week a little bit on a warmer note. And then Tuesday, 70% chance of rain. That's that second storm system that is heading into Kern County as we begin next week. As for our mountain communities, I know there's still a lot of flooding up there in Kernville. So be safe, everyone. Again, turn around, don't drown if you see flooding on those roadways. As I said earlier, things are drying up on Sunday, but then those rain chances come right back in on Monday, and they really last throughout the entirety of next week. Well, that's a look at what's making headlines. We'll have another update for you later today. Stay safe. Have a good one.